2020. The chairman, Senate Committee on Petroleum Upstream, Senator Tayo Alasho Adura, laying the report of the Petroleum Industry Governance Bill before the Senate. The Petroleum Industry Bill, PIB, has been in the works for nearly eight years at the National Assembly. The bill is getting another opportunity in this eight assembly and it has been broken down into five parts, which lawmakers say will ensure a speedy passage. The Petroleum PIB Bill it has never gone this far before. I think we're all proud that we have gone this far and finally break this jinx. Leader of the Senate. It is expected that after the Senate passes the Petroleum Governance and Institutional Framework of the PIB, it would move to the other parts of the PIB, which focuses on fiscal framework and host communities. The National Assembly has promised that it would pass the PIB before the expiration of the 8th Assembly, and Nigerians are prepared to hold the National Assembly to this promise. Besides the Petroleum Industry Bill, a federal lawmaker drew the attention of his colleagues to some persistent problems associated with the presidential amnesty program. Senator Peter Moboshi says the amnesty program is being threatened by inadequate funding. Know that the amnesty program was conceived by the federal government of Nigeria to stem the tide of disaffection, agitation and militancy in the Niger Delta area, which resulted in loss of lives, properties and oil revenue, and the result of the program has been quite encouraging. Worried that funds appropriated for the program have been depreciating steadily, leading to adverse impact on the operation of the program as tension is already building up in the Niger Delta region. After lawmakers made the observations, the Senate urged the federal government to release the balance of 15 billion naira in the 